good morning y'all what is this like the first vlog in my new apartment <laughs> that is so crazy but these past two months have been absolutely insane i think i've only been home for a total of maybe two weeks that's it so i've just been constantly moving i went to greece i went home like twice i think traveling back and forth from just different places y'all so i'm so happy to just be home i cannot wait to get this house together because right now it is a hot mess we still have boxes everywhere we don't have a couch we don't have a bed yet so me and brian have been sleeping on the couch every single day <sighs> luckily i have a huge couch so it's not that bad but i cannot wait for our mattress to get in that's the only thing i'm waiting for and after that we can sleep on a bed so I'm so excited for that but I'm really just trying to get myself into more of a routine um, kind of resetting and just like honestly kind of romanticizing my life at home because I just want to be home I don't want to go anywhere I don't want to do anything I just want to get this house this apartment together so yeah um, obviously first things first started off the day with a shower doing my skincare now because I haven't really been slacking. I've been pretty good, but when it comes to exfoliating, I've been like, Ugh. but yeah, so I have these eye patches on right now because I feel like my bags are heavy and puffy. So I'm actually going to finish up my skincare with you guys. Firstly, starting with a serum. So this is the Goodall Green Tangerine Vita C Dark Spot Serum. And thank you to Goodall for sponsoring this portion of the video. So I've actually seen this serum all over social media, specifically TikTok. Yeah, I'm a TikTok head. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it has over 1,500 reviews on Amazon. And it was the number two best-selling facial serum on Amazon for Amazon Prime Day, which is amazing. So I'm so happy that they sent this over to me and I was able to try it out. And I absolutely love it, specifically for my skin type and what I like. I love, love, love vitamin C serums because obviously I love to have that glowy look on my face. And vitamin C actually helps with hyperpigmentation, dark spots, sunspots. But not only that, I do have dry skin as well and this is moisturizing so that is definitely a plus for me i've been using it since i was in greece so it's been about three weeks now Whew. if you guys go look at my greece photo skin was popping glowy all day and i'm like the type of person who doesn't really like to wear much makeup or no makeup at all and this really really just helps with the complexion of my skin making sure that it looks super healthy radiant and it takes care of you know those unwanted dark spots so obviously the main benefits of this vitamin c serum which i already spoke about is that it prevents sunspots dark spots hyperpigmentation and it has brightening ingredients like 70 percent fresh green tangerine extract niacinamide and arbutin which contains vitamin a to fight off skin damaging radicals that form when skin is exposed to external aggressors like uv rays so not only is it brightening my existing hyperpigmentation it's also working to prevent the formation of new ones with daily sun exposure and it also has a calming ingredient called tiger grass and this helps to soothe skin and improve skin hydration so the texture of the serum is very lightweight, smooth, it is non-sticky, so my skin is literally just drinking it up and it's giving me that really nice glow. So I'm sure you guys can see this vitamin C glow already. It looks so freaking good and this is without a moisturizer so you guys can see moisturized, bright, radiant yes so yeah if you guys are interested in trying out the good all green tangerine vita c dark spot serum highly recommend it is great for all skin types and it is great to use morning and night so you can shop on amazon i will leave the link down below and it is actually on sale for 30 percent off between september 12th and september 18th the link will be down below so yeah now i'm gonna go in with the good all green tangerine vita c cream i've actually never tried this one so this one's new to me but i mean you can't go wrong with products in the same line usually they work really well for my skin Honestly, anything with vitamin C, my skin absolutely loves. Even though it's kind of rare for me to find like a good vitamin C, once I find the product, game changer. 
And of course, if you're wearing any type of vitamin C, and honestly, every single day, you should always be wearing some sunscreen. This is the Super Goop, what is this though? Every single face watery lotion. <laughs> I was like, every single face. <laughs> yeah, but I use the sunscreen every day. Especially if I'm wearing vitamin C serums or things that make your skin very sensitive to the sun. So, you want to apply a good amount of sunscreen. And I love this one because it does not leave a white cast. Alright, so this is the skin for the day. I think I'm going to be bare faced all day, but we'll see. I'm actually about to head to the grocery store because I need to get some breakfast food and some chicken that I want to cook up today, season cook. So, let's go. Okay, so this is everything that I got. So I got a ready to eat Caesar salad. So when I'm lazy, just eat that chicken in it. Got some green onion, a scallions, some green beans, which I am not gonna microwave. Definitely gonna steam these. Strawberries for breakfast and snacking. Blueberries. Some lemons for lemon water, onions for the chicken. Probably didn't need to, but you can't go wrong with having, you know, multiple onion. Um, I got some turkey bacon for breakfast, which I'm literally about to make. So I got this uncured turkey bacon. Um, it's peppered already. And then I got this regular Jenny O turkey bacon. I love some turkey bacon, so, so I got two. Then I got honey, this sweet chili sauce and then the ranch light. Mainly got this sweet chili sauce because they didn't have any balsamic vinaigrette from Kraft, which was really weird. So I'm like, if I don't have any more in my fridge, then we'll just go with the sweet chili sauce for the chicken. And then obviously I got the chicken thighs. I only needed one because we're probably both gonna have two today and there's only two more slices of macaroni pie. So this with the green beans. <laughs> yes, your girl had to get another barbecue chicken pizza from california pizza chicken my favorite which i'll have for like lunch one day and then i got some jolly rancher popsicles for brian so really not that much because i don't want to be wasting food and i noticed that i do that when i buy too much and then also we're starting back hello fresh next week so yeah ready to eat I'm so excited okay guys so I just finished eating I'm about to season up this chicken I want to season it early just so it can marinate a little bit and it can be super flavorful so <clears throat> obviously I gotta clean the chicken and I just looked at my fridge I have no more balsamic I really wanted the balsamic honey chicken that I always make but there was no more so I'm gonna have to do like the sweet chili Thai I guess I don't know <sighs> 
It's okay though. I'm looking for my seasoning bowls. I like to get the chicken with the skin on it because it packs more flavor than the skinless. So clean it with some lime, obviously. wrap to keep it sealed and put it in the fridge and then I'm gonna probably take it out in like I don't know maybe like five hours I think it's like 12 right now so five hours I'll probably start cooking at five I've never tried this sauce before so we're gonna see hopefully it's not too spicy for Brian specifically because <laughs> I like a little kick but All right, so I'm gonna put this in the fridge. And then I have like some more like green onion and stuff. I'm gonna put this as like a topping, a garnish. So it'll look all cute when it's done. And then I'm just gonna have it with macaroni pie that my mom sent for me. I literally just came back, what, two days ago now, a day ago. So I still have macaroni pie. And then I'm gonna have it with some green beans because we need a green. So yeah, I think right now I'm actually going to clean up a little bit. Cause I'm gonna show you guys actually. I'm just gonna be real blunt and honest right now. Like, I'm gonna show you guys, this is embarrassing. But like I said, I have not been home for more than two weeks. Went to Jamaica, went to Greece, went to Toronto um, twice. So yeah, <laughs> y'all. Don't judge me. Yeah, this is what my living room is looking like. I told you guys we have no couch. Um, I'm hoping to work with a brand so I can get a free couch because I really don't want to pay for one if I'm being quite honest. Um, so <laughs> honestly, this stuff is all Brian's. Like these coats are mine, but we're going to put them in our storage unit in our apartment. All these clothes are Brian's. These are Brian's. And then I think these are stuff a lot of these are Brian's too, and then some of the stuff are for the living room, but like we need our couch and stuff. Um, because it's like decorative pieces, like pillows and things. And then this is the bedroom, but like I said, we have no bed. We're waiting on our mattress. Cannot wait to show you guys the actual like bed frame and stuff. I'm going for something a little bit more just simple. So you guys will see. My bed is from Soft Frame Designs, so really cute. Um, that's the what is that again? This is the box spring. And then these are the nightstands from Pottery Barn. I actually have two. Brian has to go get the other one. He forgot it. And then since I'm a part of Sephora squad, I've been getting so many packages. This whole entire box right here is all skincare. So I'm going to try to do some type of giveaway because this is way too much. Who is going to be using all this skincare? It's too much. And then right beside my bedroom, I... Have my office and I decided to do my I decided to put my office in here because I noticed that I really did not use my office in LA I feel like I just don't need an entire room so I think this is perfect I can roll out of bed and then go to my office and figure ish out so yeah this is plenty of space though like this is actually a good size room if i'm being quite honest anyways i'm gonna go edit a little bit and then i'm gonna clean up and i'll see you guys soon
hello guys so welcome to my closet it is a hot mess just like the rest of the house but i believe i told you guys i've been here for like two weeks total out of the time that we moved here and actually the first week that i was here we didn't even have our stuff yet the movers were still bringing it over so really only one week um to really get my ish together i guess i can bring you guys into my closet because i have so much work to do on this side i believe i'm gonna put all of my bags maybe some shoes if some shoes could fit over here i have all of my you know tank tops body suits and then longer just um thinner tops like nicer tops over here i have all of my knits and then it also goes into just like thicker sweaters flannels things like that long sleeve and then over here i have all of my jeans and pants over here i have all of my denim jackets blazers and then i have a few leather jackets in the back and then over here i have all of my dresses i have short dresses long sleeve dresses maxi dresses and then cardigans and i think i might actually switch this around like put the cardigans over there because i have like knits over there but we'll figure it out i'm not sure yet and then i have my wedding dress which i have yet to wear i have yet to open i have yet to try it on which is crazy so very sad <laughs> And then over here, I have all of my hoodies, crew necks. Down here, I have all of my joggers. And then over here, I have some light jackets, which I could possibly wear the next few months. And then I have Brian's, um, his suits and stuff. So his closet is a lot smaller than mine. So I said he could have this section over here. And then he could also have this bottom section to put whatever he wants um and then on this side i'm gonna put all of my sneakers i'm probably gonna get rid of a bunch because i honestly don't wear them so i have sneakers and then i have my heels as well and then this is what my floor is looking like <laughs> shambles so i'm actually going to work on this right now then i do have a mirror in here but i wish this was actually in brian's room i'm pretty sure i could clip this off i just have to figure it out but I have where is it I have this little mirror thing back here which has all of my jewelry that's what I rather go up there because it's just more useful for me um but anyways let me get to cleaning I want the floors on here to be spick and span like nothing on the floor so I can walk in here and feel good Stick to what I know. Nice on top of nice, long nights. Nice. Took a toll. Took some steps back, but I still get up and I go. And now you know. I'ma make some and I'ma spend it. Yeah. New Jeep, no doors with it. No. I won't stop now. Who you kidding? Kidding. Every day I wake up, I'ma send it. Alrighty, guys. So I finished cleaning up my closet the best that I can. The floor. There's nothing on it, which is great. So I just organized everything. Have some bins up there, my bags. I did like white, black, browns. Here I did colors. And then this shelf, I did like all my designer. Um, and then just miscellaneous things here. My phone is there. These are like bigger bags. And then I have these two things that I need to do something with. And then this side, nothing special, just my sneakers, my heels. I put my black boots down there. And then these are my taller boots. If you guys have any ideas of what I should do with these, let me know. Because once this gets full with clothes, it's just going to be blocking the boots. So maybe I should put my boots up there. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I could even put it up here. Just take that down. Because I did want to put like 
the shelving for my sneakers but we'll figure that out all right guys so dinner is served we have the macaroni pie that my mom made i only put like five green beans on brian's because he's probably not even gonna eat it but we'll see and then i have the sweet honey chili chicken yummy So we finished, well Brian finished the box spring. Perfect, so we just gotta wait for the bed now. Well the mattress. So yeah, I actually think that I'm going to go to bed now. It's about probably like 10 o'clock and I wanna wake up pretty early so I'm gonna call it a night. And oh, this I showed you guys earlier in the vlog. Oh my goodness, this Eau de Perfume by Ellis Brooklyn is called Salt. It smells like heaven it smells like the beach it smells so good like you're just oh, at the beach oh my gosh love 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 i just got this um in pr and it's like my go-to right now well i literally been wearing it for two days but <laughs> love it it smells mm. so yeah anyways i'll talk to you guys later this is also, don't forget to check out the Good All Vita C Dark Spot Serum on Amazon.